Welcome to Leather Journey. I'm Dex, and I don't have a camera person today, so I'm trying to do it all myself. So hopefully I'll get the camera angle right and we won't have to do a bunch of reshoots. We have not visited Floggers in a while. It's interesting, I was at a party at Daytona uh, Beach a couple weekends ago, and there was a fellow that had this huge super mop. I think that flogger weighed over 10 pounds. It was an incredible amount of leather. And I picked it up and I checked the balance and boom, it, it wasn't balanced at all. So literally throwing 10 pounds of leather that's not balanced correctly is gonna really wear your arm out. You're gonna get a workout without having to go to the gym. So I, this is a super mop and I wanna show you where the balance point ideally is in a flogger. If you look, I put my finger now an inch or so behind the pineapple knot. And even though this flogger has three quarter inch wide tails, 26 inches long, a 10 inch long handle, it's perfectly balanced at that point. This particular flogger is made out of elk. In another video, I'm gonna weigh these floggers so you can get a, an idea of the difference in weight in the floggers. Well, he, this fellow grabbed this flogger out of my hand and he said, oh no, it's balanced. You're just not holding it at the right point. And he put his finger right under the pineapple knot. Well, it was balanced onto the pineapple knot, but you don't, I've never seen anybody grab a flogger and throw it holding the pineapple knot. So it was balanced, but it was balanced at the incorrect point. Okay, it should be balanced behind the pineapple knot about where you would grasp your flogger. Now, does that mean you have to grasp your flogger there? No, I'm gonna go over some flogger holds in another video. This video short is just on the balance point. So this is an example of a super mop uh, with elk tails perfectly balanced. We've got a moose flogger here with 22 inch tails, perfectly balanced. Goat skin flogger, veg tanned, and these tails are quite light. Uh, it's balanced a little bit farther behind the pineapple nut, but it's still balanced where you can grasp the flogger and throw it. Now this is goat, goat skin, but this is oil tan goat skin, and it's quite heavy. And this is going to be an example of a flogger that's not balanced correctly. If I put my hand behind the pineapple knot, it doesn't balance. The balance point on this flogger is somewhere closer to the pineapple knot. So it wasn't balanced correctly, even though this flogger was made by the same maker as the other floggers I showed you that were balanced correctly. So what needs to happen with this flogger? Because the veg tan or the oil tan goat skin is so heavy, it needs a heavier counterweight in the pommel. Uh, and it's not gonna get it because this flogger maker is no longer working anymore. But I wanted to show you an example of a flogger that's balanced correctly as opposed to one that's not quite balanced correctly. So that's kind of it for this. We've covered flogger balance in a previous video, but I wanted to revisit it briefly because to be honest, not everybody watches every single video that Dex makes. As always, thanks for watching The Leather Journey.